Hello everyone, welcome to an academy. This is Ashwath. Today we are going to discuss about life cycle of Plasmodium vivax. Okay, Plasmodium vivax is, is the main reason for causing malaria. This life cycle can be divided into two phases. First phase is called mosquito phase and the second phase is called as man phase. We will be discussing mosquito phase of Plasmodium vivax in this video and uh, the later man phase will be explained in the next part of the video. Before starting the life cycle of Plasmodium vivax, we should know that this life, life cycle starts from 10 to 24 days after it enters the mosquito. Yes. Coming to the mosquito phase of Plasmodium vivax, the initial stage of Plasmodium is called gametocyte, where they are in form of a small gametes. Okay, they enter the crop of mosquito or female Anopheles mosquito. Here, four stages can be seen. First stage is called as gametogony. Next is fertilization stage. Third stage leads to the formation of Ukinites and oocyst, and fourth stage is sporogony. In the gametogony, the formation of male and female gametes can be seen. This formation of male and female gametes occurs in lumen of mosquito. Okay. Yeah. Let us see how the male uh, gametes are formed. The initial gametocytes or micro gametocytes, what we call their nucleus first divides into eight daughter nuclei okay each nucleus is called as pronuclei after dividing they reach the periphery of the cell okay there is the periphery of the cell and the cytoplasm is pushed in the form of eight flagella like structures okay each one gets one pronuclei along with these cytoplasmic extensions. This ultimately results in the formation of male gametes. To be clear with this, I am explaining once again. In the gametogony stage, formation of male and female gametes is seen. These gametes occur in lumen. Okay. Let us say this is a cell. These are micro gametes inside them. So, inside the cell only, these nucleus divides. Okay, the nucleus divides into eight daughter nuclei. Each nuclei is called as pronuclei. In these pronuclei, what they do is they push themselves to the periphery of the cell and the cytoplasm is pushed along with this. This results in the formation of a each pronuclei with cytoplasmic extension. This each pronuclei along with cytoplasmic extension is called as male gamete. After formation, they separate from the cytoplasm by a process called as X flagellation. Okay. Yeah. Let us see the formation of female gametes. The female gametocytes undergo development by a process called as maturation and they lead to formation of female gametes. Okay. This nuclei of female gamete, they move towards the periphery as in male gametes also. Okay. They lead to formation of a projection. This projection is called as fertilization cone. Please remember that this projection is called as fertilization cone. The second stage of fertilization is called as fertilization stage where the male and female gametes formed earlier are fused. Let us see how they fuse. What happens is the male gamete they keep on moving continuously and come into contact with the female gametes. At where at the fertilization cone that was formed by the female gametes okay in this fertilization cone the further process occurs how the male gametes pronuclei and the cytoplasm of the female nuclei both fuse together 
and lead to the formation of a syncadion. This fusion is called as anisogamy. What is anisogamy? Anisogamy is a fusion of dissimilar gametes. Okay. Finally, after the formation of syncarion, we can see the formation of a zygote. So, by the end of this stage, fertilization stage, zygote is formed. And the next stage leads to the formation of oocinites and oocyst. The preformed zygote remains intact sometimes. Okay. After 18 to 24 hours, what happens is this zygote forms an oocinite. Okay. This oocinite pierces the wall of the crop and settles in the basement membrane of the mosquito. What they do? This oocinite, this pierces the wall of the crop and they settle themselves in the basement membrane. After settling in the basement membranes, these becomes round and secrete cyst around them. Okay, they become round and secrete cyst around them. This structure is called as oocyst. Okay, about 50 to 500 oocyst are formed at this stage. The next stage is called as porogony, where the preformed oocyst nucleus undergoes first reduction division and then it undergoes repeated mitotic divisions and leads to formation of a sporoblast. So we can say that sporoblast are the structures which are formed from the oocyst by first reduction divisions and then by repeated mitotic divisions. After the formation of sporoblast, the nucleus surrounds with cytoplasm. Okay nucleus surrounds with cytoplasm and sporozoid are formed ok this oocyst along with sporozoids is called as sporocyst after the formation of sporocyst what happens is it gets ruptured and up to 10,000 10,000 sporozoids which are present in a sporocyst releases into hemocele of the mosquito. I hope you are clear with this. After formation of a sporocyst, it gets ruptures and the sporozoids which are present inside the sporocyst comes out. They are approximately around 10,000 and they are released into the hemocele of the mosquito. From the hemocele of the mosquito, these enters the salivary glands of the mosquito. Okay. After entering into the salivary glands, they get ready for infection and further development of these sporozoids occurs in humans. I hope you are very clear with this concept and let us see the man phase where the further development of these sporo uh, sporozoids occurs in our next video. Thank you.